What's up everyone? Welcome to Mati's Zone. For today, what we are going to do is we are going to review this cute figure. It's Guile Kid Robot, Street Fighter vinyl action figure by Capcom. And it stands a little bit below uh, 3 inches. And it comes with a little art card, but I don't have it because I got this one loose or I bought it loose from a private seller and um, with this um, line Kid Robot they release uh, 12 of them right with 20 variations if you check the uh, box it's really really nice and it has a nice artwork and at the back of the card or sorry at the back of the box you will see all the odds that you will be getting because it's a blind box right you don't know what's inside so you have their Guile, Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, Balrog and I think Vega is uh, one of the rarest one so if you if you have him you, you are lucky <laughs> right and th this one was released in 2011 and the uh, it came out as well as a movie in 1994 right if you know or if you remember Jean Claude Van Damme yes he was the one who was the main um, character there he is uh, I think Captain Guile right but anyways I love this uh, Street Fighter growing up as a kid and yeah, it was first released in 1987 by a Japanese manufacturer company, which is Capcom. And yes, so just follow me guys and let's do a review of Guile Kid Robot. Alright, so first of all, we will measure the height. So as you can see, it's like two and a half inches tall right and now let's go with the paint job and the sculpt it's a very very nice sculpt good job and I have no complaints about the uh, paint job we will see here the blonde hair the blue eyes right and I think he's looking on uh, his right right side very nice scalp here the mouth the nose the eyes the ear I love this one here the tail back of his here at the back right and with blue and the camouflage the belt if you can if we look closer you will see there the uh, dog tag right and he's got a cute tattoo American flag on both his um, arms here right and at the bottom you will see there Capcom and kid robot right so there's not too much articulation on this uh, figure the head it rotates all around or 360 degrees the arms it can go like all the way but the head or the ear is in the way we don't want to force that we might break the uh, arm right and so with the left arm oh, well with this figure you don't need to pose them right it's it's good for display in your dashboard in your work desk in in your toy shelf it looks good anywhere okay so I have a few more of the um, kid robot um, line right and all of them are a street fighter and just 
stay tuned okay guys and we, we're gonna do a review of them one at a time all right so yes i hope you guys like our short review for today leave a comment down below if you want and i will get back to you for sure and like and share hit that notification bell and of course subscribe if you have not yet so you will get notified on our next videos okay guys so like i always say keep searching and keep collecting take care